hi guys so today's video was supposed to be a slightly longer video um on my garden planning but we've all been rather sick around here and things have gotten a bit out of hand so that video will be up next week and um this week i decided to just do a quick video that i can upload from my phone um since i've been discussing seeds and what seeds i have and whatnot and since I do need to process some seeds, I thought I would just talk quickly about some uh, simple and easy um, ways to save seeds, which of course saves money. And over time you end up with a vegetable that's better suited to um, your, a vegetable that's better suited to your specific environment, your specific garden, your specific area. Um, so, seed saving might sound super complicated and like something you would never be capable of doing, or you'll never be a good enough gardener or that experienced or have that much knowledge, but it's really not difficult at all. Now, some things, admittedly, are difficult to save seeds from. But for the most part, seeds are a very natural part of a plant's life, and you just have to know how to process them. So, um, recently while cleaning out a basket that was on top of the fridge, I found this. Sorry about the bag. Warren, can you play somewhere else? Go take your ball in the other room. Yeah. Can you go throw it down the hallway? Yeah, that's a good idea. So I found this recently and it's very dry and rattly and ready to be processed, if you will. And this is a Blahildi bean. I think I'm saying that right. But it's one of the ones that I had saved from last year. It was one of my biggest ones. You always want to take the biggest ones if you can because then you're saving the genetics of the larger beans. So I have this one, and I have, um, this is a broken one, but this is one of my long beans. It would have been about this long, but it broke in half. And then I have a whole bag. I'll only do one for the video. I have a whole bag of, uh, let's see. Oh, a big one. <coughs> of these, these are radish pods. So, I'm going to show you how I do those three today. So, let's see. Can you see that? I tried to put it on a white background so it's easier to see. So, beans are probably one of the easiest. Beans and peas and radishes are some of the easiest things to save seeds off of. So, basically, I'll do the bean first. What you do is you pick your largest bean. So, this bean is really dry it actually started popping open already you just squeeze it and it'll pop open like that and there i have four nice sized beans and take those and stick them in here and a radish pot is very similar once it's all dried out you just break it open and you'll find inside you have some radish seeds. Now this is a black Spanish radish, so the seeds are a little bit bigger. But they all come out basically the same. Now flowers, the seeds are in the center generally. It depends on the variety though. But for most, oops, there's another one. For most kinds of seeds, they're all about the same. Poppies are easy. You just take the dry head once it pops open and shake it into a bag. Um, and if there's anything you're not sure about, you can always check the internet. It's a wonderful resource for learning new things. So it's easy to save seeds and you get a better vegetable and you save some money. So if you haven't tried seed saving before, I'd encourage you to go ahead and try it. 
Um, it's really not difficult. So there's my little bit of homesteading trivia for today, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'm sorry it wasn't a long video, but that'll be up next week. And I'll see y'all again soon.